Hi all, once again. I think you can hear me quite well. Yeah? A um, um, couple of years has passed uh, since we had the COVID restrictions, and finally we are able to meet each other in person and organize some interesting events. I'm Natia, CEO of uh, Executive Georgia, co founder and president of GRS TKB. Um, first of all, I would like to thank all of you for your time, for your attendance here in Saturday. Not so bad, whether outside and you're here. Um, I hope you will enjoy today's talk and also use the opportunity to meet each other, your colleagues from different companies, and enlarge your network. Um, so. About the agenda of today's uh, meetup, we will start with, uh, with me. Uh, the topic about uh, ICTB CTFL preparation course. The second topic will be about AI and agile software testing covered by Joseph Itkin. After break, we will have a topic about um, QA overview um, and market in Georgia covered by Tatia Getia. And the last topic will be um, the scope of skills required in QA, covered by Rostislav Jaworski. So now I think um, we can start and dive into the presentation. During my presentation, I will try firstly to explain what's about this course, CTFL preparation course, um, then the professional growth and development plan of this year, 2022. Uh, why choose an accredited course? Um, more about exact for our company. Um, course content and structure. Um, more information about the first intake results as we already hosted the first intake and I think it should be interesting for you to get some results. Um, more about the real ICQB exam, how and where to pass it. Um, then about um, the Xarco New Center of Professional Excellence, uh, about our vacancies, and finally I will try to cover um, your questions and answer them. Okay. Um, a couple of years ago, when I was presenting anything related to ICQB, um, what I was coming across, it was widely organized with a lot of question marks. But I know that today majority of you know what is ICQB, but just slightly briefly to speak about this big organization. Uh, International um, Software Testing Qualifications Board. This is a non-profit organization founded in uh, 2002 in Belgium. Um, they have established um, ICQB certified tester scheme um, and they became uh, the worldwide player of some certification in software testing. Um, uh, as you see even from the slide, they have different levels and products of certification. The first one, the entry one, is the foundation level. In order to take any other product and exam, everyone has to pass successfully uh, the foundation level. Um, the organization itself consists of um, different representative boards all over the world. And even if you're trying to search in the map of ICTQB in their webpage, Georgia, you will find a local representative board called GeoSTQB. Uh, can you hear me quite well? Because I can hear my voice in the back. Okay. <laughs> um, and um, you will find here the information about the local board, and you can contact them and ask anything that you're interested in. I will not speak now about GeoSTQB because we have Tatia. Um, the representative from uh, GRST Commission will speak a lot about its um, the activities, their mission, and so on. Um, returning back to foundation level preparation course and itself the foundation level, as I mentioned, it's the basic entry um, step of the whole scheme of um, different certifications of ICQB. Uh, at this level, um, you will understand the fundamentals of software testing, like what is software testing, the types, test processes, um, seven testing principles, 
of test management and the tools uh, supporting software testing. Um, even the software development model life cycle models and so on, like all the fundamentals of uh, software testing. Um, the exam itself uh, consists of 40 questions um, with a variety of difficulties of questions um, and lasts for one hour. Uh, in the case if you ask something like in advance to have more minutes because if you are not a non-native English speaker, uh, you will get a plus 15 minutes and instead of 60 minutes you will have 75 minutes to pass um, exam. And I know successfully. Um, and you have to get more than 65% score in order to pass it successfully. And of course, the higher one is also fine. Um, about professional growth and development. Well, uh, in order to start uh, your career uh, in software testing, I think that um, most important is your desire, motivation, uh, willing to learn more, um, grow up, and uh, work hard, and then get the results. Nothing is impossible. Uh, and uh, uh, you start, and even uh, we used to say, for example, in our company, that software testing is relentless learning. Uh, the majority of our managers started on entry level. Um, and with their spirit and desire of learning and grow up much faster. Nowadays, they are managing quite big, complex, informational uh, projects. So once again, nothing is possible that I mentioned. Uh, and starting with the basic understanding and fundamentals of software testing with this course, uh, we will try to guide you and support understanding all these basics. Um, and getting the certificate of uh, a foundation level, I would say that it would be uh, the next achievement in your career um, because firstly it's globally recognized and all international companies accept it. And of course you will start as a junior on the entry level, then move on the middle, senior and finally of course become the manager as well. And additionally I think that everyone um, uh, who is the IT technologist, it's important to understand the basics and fundamentals of software testing in order to be successful and to be successful with any roles in technologies. About the lines uh, of this course related for this year, um, as I mentioned, we have the first intake already. It started in March, finished early in May. Um, and uh, because of huge demand, and later I will show you the figures to see this, what I mean after huge demand, we merged the first three takes into one group and added, of course, our experts and support from our side. Um, all our distribution um, is quite heavily used in, with our community. And you can even see the QR code on the right corner of the screen. You can scan it and follow in order to, to stay tuned. And for the next intake, as you see, uh, here we have a start and end date under question because uh, for us it's important to know what's your real desire, when would you prefer to start, like those who would like to take the, this course, now it's a good time. Um, to scan the code and try to vote, like which career for it is more convenient to start the course. Um, someone who will have a problem with scanning, uh, you can go to slido.com, enter this code that you see from the screen, and now we will see the results. Come on. <laughs> Maybe we need to display the screen with the QR code a little bit more.
I think we can display now the results. Okay, let's wait a little bit. So we have here four options, September, July, August, October. Okay, let's see. <laughs> I think it's September 1. <laughs> um, so definitely we will consider your will and desire uh, while we will start planning the second intake. Uh, of course, we will share the information about second intake in our channel, so keep an eye and be updated. Let's continue. Why choose an accredited course and itself? Sometimes I'm sure that people are asking why STPB Foundation um, course at all. <laughs> um, a couple of explanations maybe here. Firstly, that uh, all samples and documents are prepared by experts uh, who are working and uh, have experience of years in software testing from academia or industry um, directions. Um, and um, First of all, also it's a common language and vocabulary for the testers and community all over the world. And there can be lots of other reasons and about the accredited words that I would like to highlight here is that um, you can find lots of words that help to prepare for this exam. Uh, but it's important that we do recommend to try the accredited one and why. Um, because um, the first the accreditation is done by the local representative board of ICQB and or um, also it can be done by ICQB depending on situations. Um, and therefore, it means that all materials, all information will be according to the standards. And also accredited course, this is a guarantee that delivers the quality product itself, the course, with all materials, will, with a certified training. And um, includes, and of course, are adjusting everything according to the standards of ICQB. Now, about Exact Pro, I would like to share some information. Firstly, that Exact Pro is an independent software testing service provider um, uh, for financial market infrastructures. Um, we have um, clients uh, exchanges and post rates across uh, 20 countries worldwide, and we do um, provide uh, functional and non functional testing services. Our uh, headquarters is in the UK and operations in the US, Georgia, Sri Lanka, Lithuania, Armenia. And um, all of this started in uh, 2009 with 10 people, and nowadays we are more than 700 people all over the other locations. I'm sure that um, Joseph would like to uh, speak a lot uh, during his presentation about the company in different aspects, um, so I will not um, keep um, more information. And I would um, speak also uh, briefly about um, TPAC entity. Um, uh, it was founded in Georgia in uh, 2018. Um, and uh, since then, we started to support the area of software testing in Georgia. First, the uh, meetup um, that we hosted was in uh, 2019, uh, February. And since then, we hosted several meetups, webinars, conferences, or participate in uh, Lots of webinars, meetups, and different variety of events uh, hosted by other communities or organizations. Um, we do partnership with uh, international bodies uh, like uh, ICQB, uh, that we are the, um, the partner program member of Platinum Partner Program with that. Um, also, we support the creation of JRS and um, quite heavily supported in different ways. Um, we were the first accredited center in Georgia accredited by GAS. GAS is one of the biggest exam provider. Um, and lots of, I think, partnerships that we don't have in the slide. 
Um, and uh, I mentioned maybe already that we have a new support and we may be nice to give you certification. Therefore, uh, since 2012, we have uh, 200 as exam specialists who have passed this level of exam quite successfully. We do refund um, these certifications, the which were successfully passed, not only the SDG, but the other exams as well. And um, more interesting, I think, and valuable is that we have also fixed a month premium for each um, the per each year for each employee that um, can use to develop themselves and to grow up much more. And those who will uh, hold the um, successfully pass the certification of ICQB or the other exams uh, will get also monthly base bonus. Um, also, we conduct several educational courses, um, generally, um, and uh, we try to share our expertise and knowledge um, for QA communities to help them and support them, for young generation also to grow up and understand more um, in software testing direction. We have available courses mostly in two languages, um, Georgia English, um, YouTube channel you can find lots of materials and all of them are free of charge, so feel free to subscribe and see more information. And now I think I will move and speak more about the course content and structure itself. Uh, about the course length, it lasts for nine weeks. Um, the first intake that we hosted was free of charge. Uh, since the second intake, the cost will be 500 uh, but it will be free of charge for uh, students from our partner universities or beneficiaries of the project from uh, 500 women in tech. And we will have uh, several grants that will help to um, support with some attendance and to have the course free of charge. Um, the course consists of two parts. Um, uh, and uh, it will be based on uh, two types of meetings weekly. Uh, the first one will be about the Q&A session and overview of the recorded video that uh, we will send before this lecture. Uh, and the second type will be a um, review of the test, test results, um, and the test of course definitely will be sent before the meeting. Um, also, um, the, the final we will have the mock exam that will last for one hour. So we will have 40 questions, and um, those who will pass uh, get more than 70% score. Um, definitely, first they will get certificate, and then also um, we will provide opportunities of employment or internship. Um, and um, except one interesting fact here is that um, we previously supported close Facebook group for the whole team who were on this course. We will continue the same way. And even after finalizing this course, so we will continue support during one month. So in any questions, anything related to ICB Foundation level, we will be ready to support. Uh, the whole of our content of structure is according to the chapters of foundation level. So it means that um, the chapters, we have six ones, and some of them will be divided into two parts, depending on the length of the chapter itself, and some of them will not. And the final one, as I mentioned, there will be mock exam. Uh, now I would like to share some interesting facts about the first intake how it went. Um, we had, I mentioned that we had a huge demand. What means huge demand? Uh, we got a registration for um, around 500 people yes. at the beginning. Then we had an entry test. And um, finally we enrolled 140 people for this course. Um, at the mock exam, um, it was only 73 who took the exam and only 28 managed to pass it. Um, during the whole course, of course, we were monitoring, supporting each member of uh, and attendees of this course, um, monitoring actively how they were involved, asking feedbacks if they had any problems and trying to support. And even at the last point, we had um, 
in-person meeting, um, trying to support and explain more how it works um, in person exams in real in real exams, what are the rules, how the proctors are in during the exam. So I hope all this was helpful. Some of them already has different exams. And uh, all these registered people, which was also an interesting fact, that um, they were from universities, from different companies. You can see even a couple of examples here on this one. And of course, I mentioned previously as well that our main distribution channel is QA community. You can even scan a QR code from here, follow on Facebook, and stay tuned. Um, now I think I would like to share um, a couple of information on how to take uh, the real exam. What options do we have in Georgia? Um, two options, honestly. Either you can take the exam remotely or in person. In the case of remote exam, you need to enter gas.org, then uh, pick up the remote exam and book your exam. Pick up the date and book your exam. Um, you will get um, instructions on your mail that you will use during registration and um, our recommendation is here to uh, follow exactly the instructions, check the platform quite earlier and um, in order to be in time and not to have later any problem. If you have any issues, uh, you can contact me for adcast.org in any um, related issues of the exam. And the second option that I mentioned is in person. Uh, in this case, you use the same website, gast.org. Uh, you just select Georgia because if you would like to uh, pass it up here. And then pick up um, uh, the date that is more convenient to you. And what I would advise is just to come at least 15 minutes earlier in the exam center. I know that to be checked, and because there you will have a super, uh, supervisor and you will be checked and explain the rules, of how to pass, and how it works. Okay. And of course, those who passed um, ICQB successfully, uh, the ICQB itself supports a uh, um, successful candidate register, and it means that you will be even visible on this register on their website. Or, for example, if you are interested, if anyone is hosting, particular some person is hosting the certificate, you can uh, check his name and see the result if this person had or not the certificate. Uh, now briefly about our new Exactro Center of Professional Excellence. Um, we are planning to establish a new center uh, here in Georgia. The first course that it will host will be that I was speaking for the whole time, so I think it is a CTFL preparation course, and um, generally we do lots of educational courses, so I hope we will have much more interesting courses under this entity. Um, and of course, um, all the time I'm speaking about software testing and always we have vacancies about um, software testers, especially junior. We are trying to grow up and support them to uh, become professionals in this direction. But um, besides this, we have a lot of different vacancies. Feel free to enter on our website and um, check out the careers page. Or you can uh, try to find exact vacancies everywhere in Georgian platforms. Um, I think we move to a Q&A session. So if any of you has uh, any questions, just raise your hand. Uh, my colleague will give the microphone and feel free to ask a question.